I used this model before to describe in another video unequal intersecting pitch roofs and the resulting, in this case, single hip and valley and varying plate heights and overhangs. In this case, it's a consistent overhang. But if it was an un inconsistent overhang, that is to say, the eaves on one side were longer than the eaves on the other, then because it's a bastard hip or valley, it doesn't bisect the corner. And so we use a term called swings off the corner when we describe a hip or valley that lands on an upper plate and has equal overhangs. And like the term raising and lowering plates or dropping the hip, they're erroneous. They're used to describe a scenario that later on, once you've got a visual of it, don't need those terms anymore. So dropping the hip suggests that a carpenter would cut a burr's mouth, set the hip in place, realize it was too high, pull it back out, recut it lower and drop it. And the carpenter wouldn't do that. They would just cut it the proper dimension in the first place. Same with swinging. And in another video, I talked about swinging back and forth as a visualization technique. But in fact, when you have unequal intersecting pitch roofs, there's only mathematically one angle, depending on the pitches, that the hipper valley could fall in. It's an average between the two sides. And there's only one height the plate could be if you had equal overhangs. So that's important to know. And in the case, in this case, if we wanted this plate to be the same height as this plate, we would have to have a different overhang one. And they would have to lower and move out, right? When we know really, in fact, it would just have to be framed that way to begin with. Important stuff.